More than 20 years ago now, my team at UCSC posted the first human genome sequence on the internet. We went on to create the UCSC Genome Browser, essentially a web-based digital microscope that has now been used by a whole generation to explore life's code. The International Human Genome Project was a monumental effort. UCSC played a small but pivotal role. In that project, we became the first species to read our own DNA script. Since then, those three billion A's, C's, T's, and G's have become the basis for the study of human biology and genomic medicine. Studies estimate that as much as 10% is still missing. We've known for decades that humans share 99.9% .9 of genetic material in common. We are amazingly similar. We've realized that one person's DNA is really inadequate as a representation of human diversity. Human genomes are so big that 0.1% is actually millions of differences. Understanding these differences is helping scientists predict health risks and gives us real insight into disease. One genome simply cannot represent all of humanity. The human pan genome reference will be a key step forward for biomedical research and for personalized medicine. I study mutations associated with cancer. Having a better genome reference will make it easier to find these cancer-specific mutations and make sense of them. Diversifying the reference genome increases our knowledge and could lead us to greater discovery. Our job is to build that representation and make it easy to use. It's a huge challenge, but it's really important. If you rely on one genome for all your comparisons, you are blind to many types of variation. These repeat-rich sequences were once thought to be unsolvable, but recently we've made leaps and bounds. With nanopore sequencing, we can get ultra-long reads of hundreds of thousands of base pairs. These reads can span an entire repeat region. Some of the regions where there are gaps in the human reference are actually among the richest for variation. We're finding a lot of information that could be important to understanding human biology and disease.